Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, so glad that you stopped in. Please subscribe and hit the like button. I appreciate it very, very much. Um, with years of democratic leadership, the state of New York is in shambles. Crime rates are skyrocketing and people are simply not safe. In spite of this, Governor Kathy Hochul, Democrat, does not want to face the facts. When Hushul debated uh, Representative Lee Zeldin, Republican of New York, the Republican challenged her for the New York's governor's office. She severely downplayed crime. Hushul at one point even asked why Zeldin, Zeldin cares so much about locking up criminals. Well, for heaven's sakes. And Zeldin is running on a platform that largely involves bringing law and order back to New York. This means getting rid of cashless bail laws, truly holding criminals accountable for their actions. And that's the way it should be. Don't you think so? I do. As the New York Rep Republicans' message gains traction with residents of the state, the mainstream media is now aiming to provide cover for Hoshul pitiful defense of a failed governor. City and state New York, along with other left-wing public, uh, publications, are arguing that uh, Hoshul's struggles with favorability have to do with her being a woman. Therefore, opposition to Hoshul is being written off by the left as misogynistic. Misogynistic. Boy, that's a word. Here we go again. Rather than an indictment of her failed leadership. When Zeldin pressed Hochul on crime during their gubernatorial debate, the governor repeatedly spoke about getting illegal guns off the streets. Zeldin had to repeatedly point out that many of the crimes, such as rapes and people being pushed in front of moving subways, in the state are not being committed by gun welding individuals. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. Ironically, New York has some of the most restrictive gun laws in the nation amid suffering from worsening crime problems. Many New Yorkers do not take well to Herschel's cavalier attitude towards crime or her lack of regard of people's rights to legal self-defense amid growing lawlessness. These issues, not Herschel's gender, are why she is facing pushback from voters in her state. Facts over feelings, regardless of how pundits in left-wing media feel about the current New York governor, her policies, in the best of scenarios, are failing. In the worst-case scenarios, they are costing people their lives. That's sad. If Zeldin wins his election and becomes the next governor of the Empire State, things will finally be able to turn around. New Yorkers will be able to look forward to safer streets and the ability to ride the subway without fearing for their lives. If Hochul stays in office, what is happening now will look like a picnic when compared to what lies ahead. That's bad. My goodness. Um, yes, I have been off a few days. Um, the weather here is changing into winter. So that goes with every season change <laughs> in my book. So, but I'm feeling a lot better and I'm glad that I'm uh, back. But when I started um, to start my videos again this evening... Uh, it's been two and a half hours I've been working because I couldn't get my uh, video to work. My camera's fine. There's nothing wrong with my little cam. But the video wouldn't work. It said I was on lapse timeout or something, so I had to go through a whole bunch of <laughs> search <laughs> settings trying to understand the computer talk, which I'm not good at, you know. And I don't know, but the good Lord was with me. I'm fixed, and I'm back. So, and I thank all my subscribers. 
a couple of my uh, lady friends was really worried about me. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just fighting a cold again, you know, and no energy. But that's, and thyroid has a lot to do with that also. Uh, it depends on how your thyroid is reacting. And uh, so I have a lot going on, but I've kept busy. And uh, I washed down all my um, door frames, woodwork, cupboards, and stuff. Because in the spring, I want to get ready to paint. And I'm going to put a fresh coat of paint on all my woodwork. I've already painted the living room. That was done a couple years ago. So, I just keep busy. Even though I feel miserable, I try to keep going. But I just didn't want to get on. And it's a good thing I didn't. Being that the video wouldn't come on. I would have been so frustrated I'd been sicker. <laughs> so, okay. Let's uh, move this one out of the road. And I am loaded. Yes, I did a lot of work on the computer. Getting all lined up here. And... Uh, let me move that one up and uh, let's see what this one is all about and I'll keep right on going and um, oh well here's Mr. Biden our president mm. progressive democrat group has launched a don't run Joe campaign just one day after the midterm elections now some of these articles you've probably already read or you know because I'm a few days late here getting them posted. So we'll just have to go with the flow, I guess. Reread them again. You might have missed something. You know, <laughs> you never know. Um, okay, midterm elections. Urging the Democrat Party to ditch President Joe Biden and nominate a new candidate for the 2024 presidential election. Now, I did understand today and seen it where... Uh, Sometime this evening, uh, Trump is going to make a, a big speech, and I don't want to miss that. Uh, I hope I'm uh, reading what I read correctly, but I think it is tonight, so I, it'll probably be live, I am assuming. And uh, Wednesday, Don't Run Joe campaign comes just after Democrats performed better than expected in the midterms elections. Yes, I was a little bit upset. While Republicans are expected to regain control in the House, the red wave that many were expecting did not materialize. Roots Action is now urging Democrats not to make the tragic mistake of running Biden as their candidate in 2024, describing his presidency as being neither bold nor inspiring. In a press release, the group claimed that there was a supposed threat of a neo-fascist GOP that had become all too obvious. To respond to the so-called threat, they argued that bold and inspiring leadership from the Oval Office will be essential. According to the Roots Action, Biden is incapable of meeting those standards. The group is in doubts that he will even be able to win a re-election. Let's hope not. Unfortunately, President Biden has been neither bold nor inspiring, the press release stated, and his prospects for winning re-election appear to be bleak. With so much at stake making him the Democratic Party, party standard bearer in 2024 would be a tragic mistake. I think most of us agree on that. The Vermont-based group went on to say that they would rather Democrats put forth a candidate who advances a truly progressive agenda. Meanwhile, Biden will indicate numerous times throughout his presidency that he intends to run for re-election. Most recently, he has essentially stated that voters' lack of confidence in his leadership has no bearing on whether he will choose to run again. On Wednesday, when reporters spoke to Biden about exit polls that discovered that two-thirds of voters did not want to see him run for re-election, the president was asked whether that information would factor in his decision. Biden's response, that it doesn't. He was then asked what his message was to those voters who don't want to see him run again, to which he replied, watch me. Two-thirds of Americans say that they don't think you should run for re-election. 
How does that factor into your decision? Joe Biden, it doesn't. Reporter, what's your message to them? Joe Biden, watch me. Oh my, my, oh my, oh my. Let's move that one over here and let's do one quick one. Then I'm going to take a break. And um, I haven't uh, had my supper yet. So I will go ahead and fix me a little bite while this is uploading. And um, we'll see what happens here. Uh, all right, is it going to load or is it not going to load? Where am I? We are. Ron DeSantis sounded the alarm on one disturbing scheme that the left Democrats frantic. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis isn't afraid to take on the tough fights. I like him. He may have stumbled into his biggest one yet. And Ron DeSantis sounded the alarm on one disturbing scheme that left Democrats frantic. I'm blanking out here with this uh, article here, and I'm not sure why. But China has been quietly buying up land all over the United States in alarming fashion. Well, do we have to guess who's behind this? I don't think we do. Chinese nationals and companies connected to the communist Chinese government have bought billions of dollars worth of American property. In Florida, joining... J-O-I-N-N, -N, Laboratories, C-A, in company, bought 1,400 acres of farmland in Levy County for $5.5 million, according to state records. The company is a, subs a subsidiary of Chinese drug company, J-O-I-N-N, -I -I -N -N, in uppercase letters, I don't know how you'd pronounce that, but I just say join in laboratories whose founders have closed connections to the communist Chinese military. The purchase instantly became one of the biggest Chinese equations, aqu acquisitions of American land in recent memory. Join in laboratories, CA and company, claims they are using the newly minted purchase to construct a pr primate breeding and quarantine facility what the heck does that mean leave me a comment i don't understand what that is a, a viruses plague animals quarantine that would be viruses wouldn't it poisons oh my god but Florida Rep Republican Governor Ron DeSantis is working on shutting down the purchase of Florida land by Communist China and other hostile nations. Oh boy, he does have a job on his hands. DeSantis' office told the uh, EPOCH Times, the Epoch Times, that the purpose primate facility is the exact type of purchase the Florida governor wants to stop. The governor has been constantly opposed to the Chinese Communist Party's CCP growing influence in Florida. And this purpose facility is a prime example of the type of activity that we are acting to prohibit, the governor's office stated. Governor De DeSantis announced a series of legislative proposals and executive actions to prevent communist China and other co uh, countries of concern from gaining influence in Florida. Oh, bless his heart. The move will curtail the nefarious intentions of hostile foreign countries in real estate, cyberspace, and academica, academia academia in the Sunshine State and prevent hostile countries like Communist China from buying farmland or any land for that matter near military bases in Florida. 
Now, I had a video a long time ago and uh, about them buying up farmland because uh, Biden was selling it to them. Chinese companies have drawn a scrutiny for major land purchases near military bases that could potentially be used for espionage. Chinese companies pay a lot more than the land is worth. That's why people are doing it, DeSantis said at a press conference, announcing the legislation. From a national security perspective, is that something, is that something that we want to see? No. The Chinese government a communist government has used Chinese companies to further its intelligence operations overseas for years. A lot of times there'll be companies that will put themselves out as private, but if you peel back the onion a little bit, they're basically controlled, controlled by the Chinese government, Gover Governor DeSantis added. We think that's something the U.S. as a whole needs to take much more seriously. Well, Biden and his son, you know, I'm not going to say anything. No words. No words. Leave comments. Voice your opinions. I'll read them. The founders of Join, Joined Laboratories uh, graduated from China's Academy of Military Medical Sciences, which was blacklisted in 2021 from the U.S. trade for funding biotechnology to the Chinese Communist military. Ron DeSantis is leading the way nationally by providing a blueprint on how to push back against Communist China's growing influence. Oh my goodness. Mm. And here's just a, a little line here. Ron DeSantis made one decision about 2024 that has all hell breaking loose. Mm. Okay, folks. Well, I'm not happy about that at all, are you? <laughs> no, no, no. Like I said, I, I do believe the worst is yet to come. That's sad, isn't it? A lot of prayers, people. Come on, get involved. You know, power of prayer can do wonders. Okay? I'll be back. Had to find my camera button here. Thank God it's working. Oh, I was a mess there for a few, few hours. <laughs> here we go.